who found the shorts spoke to our Tom Wade tonight. He's live in Pasadena. And Tom, this shopper has a whole lot of questions. Yeah, lots of questions, Susie. He's really not too angry with the goodwill. He understands this kind of thing can happen. He's just concerned that people aren't taking the swastika seriously enough. The ultimate symbol of hate sewn into a pair of shorts. This swastika reared its ugly head at a Pasadena Goodwill store. Vadim Kolozov came upon them as he was doing some summer shopping. Oh, this looks like weird. And then I see this, the eagle and the swastika, and I was really surprised. Vadim says he looked for a label on the shorts, but there was no brand name, just the eagle and swastika. The fact that it was hanging there, it means that someone brought it. So some, someone had this, those shorts in the first place, and they donated them to, to the Goodwill. And someone in the Goodwill was taking those shorts, they were cleaning them, then they were putting a label on them. Vadim is Jewish and originally from Russia. The swastika is a symbol that touches him on a deeply personal level. You know, for me, it's kind of like uh, my grandmother's brothers, they died during the war, and my great grandfather, he was like fighting against Nazis. Goodwill apologized for selling the shorts. In a statement, the organization says, in part, we receive about 7,000 items each day, so occasionally items slip through. We employ individuals with disabilities in our stores who may not have recognized that symbol. Vadim says Goodwill did the right thing by taking the shorts off the sales floor. He's just worried the symbol is being taken too lightly. The sign that kind of like still terrifies a lot of people because even nowadays, like neo Nazis, they're still using this swastika. And Vadim says he will come back to the goodwill. He's just hoping this whole situation raises awareness. Reporting live in Pasadena, I'm Tom Waite. Back to you in the studio. Okay, Tom, thank you.